क्षणम शशिधर वंदे पशूना पति वंदे सूर्य शशाकयन वंदे मुकुंद प्रिय वंदे भक्तजन आश्रय वरदम वंदे भक्तजन आश्रय वरदम वंदे शिव शंकर फ्रेंड्स भक्ति इज डिवोशन डिवोशन इज ए नोबल इमोशन ए पायस इमोशन ए डिवाइन इमोशन ए ब्लॉसमिंग डिवोशन एंड इमोशन is an excess of feeling feelings are very in a very heart the positive pious divine feeling when it is like a flood it becomes a divine emotion and that divine emotion is called bhakti when the bhakti is translated into action it's called worship feelings emotions devotion bhakti translated into action is worship this bhakti in other words is prema what is a life without the love we want to love and we want to be loved life is vacant life is empty Life is worthless, useless, juiceless if there is no love. Whom you love, when you love, where you love, how you love, the intensity of love, the expression of love, the language of love, the degree of love may change from person to person, but love is never absent in the human heart. when the love is from the individual to the divinity it's called bhakti sharanagati the same love when it is from god to the individual it's called vatsalya or anugraha krupa from above to us it is grace from below to god is bhakti bhakti is necessary grace is necessary in the entire yoga shastra patanjali ashtanga yoga i find the key word to be ishvara pranidhana bhagavan anugraha ishvara anugraha deva umsam advaita vasana adi shankara feels even to have an inclination for advaita divine grace is needed ishvara anugraha deva umsam advaita vasa tad anugraha yetukene vaicha vijnanena moksha siddhi tamad prakasi is only by the divine grace that we deserve to be released from the samsara sagara उपनिषदीता you find the key word in brahma sutras to be paratu tat smriti bhagavans anugraha is highlighted is only by divine grace that we rise to the divine heights it's by divine grace that we evolve higher it is by divine grace that we blossom into divinity paratu tat smriti and brahma sutras and shankaras commentary and in upanishads we find divine grace highlighted nayamatma pravachane nalakha 
na mehaya na bahuna shudena emaide aapka vivrunati swam unless the aapman shavars its grace unless the aapman chooses to give you self realization you can never get it and the third one mamamaya duratyaya maam eva prapadyante maya metam tarantite unless i shower my divine grace arjuna you cannot overcome this ocean of bondage whether it is brahma sutras or upanishads whether it is patanjali yoga sutras or bhagavad gita yadri ver love is highlighted bhagavad anugraha is highlighted from us to god is bhakti from god to us is anugraha and the entire ramayana is nothing but divine grace rama's grace you can take a long list of people who have been protected who have been saved who have been elevated by the grace of sri ram and you have a long list of people who have surrendered their everything at the feet of lord ram sharanagati vibhishana sugriva anjaneya sita every one it is sharanagati shastra and in mahabharat we find this sharanagati divine grace bhakti devotion highlighted in a beautiful illustration the sum and substance of what i have been speaking so far is divine grace bhagavad anugraham ishwar krupa unless god chooses to shower his grace nothing nothing can be done by us both arjuna and duryodhana wanted to have the weapons warriors help of sri krishna they both have gone to dwaraka sri krishna in his bedroom is relaxing enjoying the nap and there was only a single chair placed near the head of sri krishna duryodhana arrived found krishna sleeping there was a single chair vacant near the head of sri krishna duryodhana hardy he was proud he was conceited he was why should he stand waiting for him to wake up he thought went to that lone chair sat waiting for krishna to wake up a few minutes later arjun has arrived with all devotion with all bhakti and he found the chair occupied by duryodhana who came early he found sri krishna relaxing enjoying the afternoon nap and there was no chair for him to sit he was humble modest a good devotee a person of total self surrender to sri krishna sishyaste ham swadvam tvam prapannam he declares in the beginning of the bhagavad gita krishna i am your sishya i am your disciple dear disciple devoted disciple please unravel the mystery of truth unravel the mystery of this particular word let me be blessed with that divine wisdom i am your sishya until then sri krishna did not stop to the discourse on bhagavad gita sishya steham swadivam tvam prapannam i fall at your feet i offer myself in self surrender and then the bhagavad gita was spoken now arjun has arrived he he stands with all modesty at the feet of krishna krishna pretends to wake up naturally his looks fall on arjun standing near the feet hello 
morning, Arjun, when did you come? How are your brothers? How is your mother? How is your wife? See, Kushala Prashna Swarovar. May I know the purpose for which you have come to Dwaraka to see me? Arjun says, before I tell you the purpose of my visit to you, my dear Krishna, my elder brother Duryodhana is already there. Then Krishna looks at Duryodhana. Hello, my dear Duryodhana, when did you come? Is everybody safe in Hastinapur? How about your brothers? How about your parents? Etc. Then Duryodhana, yes, good morning. In a hearty way he says, Arjuna's eyes are on the feet of Krishna. And Duryodhana looks up, haughty, arrogant, conceited, jealous, possessive, greedy, ama, krotha, loha, moha, mara, mapsari are personified in him. With haughtiness he says, yes, I came early. May I know the reason for your arrival here? And Duryodhana says, Krishna, the war is approaching. We are getting ready for the battle. I need a little support from you. How about Arjuna, what for have you come? I have also come for the same purpose. Then Krishna says, both of you are my cousins. Both of you are my kidnapped again. Both of you have come to me. Both of you want my help. I am ready to help you. My dear Duryodhana, my dear Archer, I divide my all into two parts. One, my weapons, warriors, army, everything well on one side. I am single, lone, without weapons. Without the belt, without the warriors, I will stand. Do you want me or do you want my belt, warriors and weapons? This is how I share, distribute. Duryodhana, you are senior. Arjun, you are junior in age. Normally, when the choice is given, the youngsters are given the first option. My dear Arjun, I give you the first option. Duryodhana, do you approve of my giving? Yes, he says. And Duryodhana is praying. Let Arjun be a fool. Let Arjun be an idiot. Let him ask for that single man without weapons, warriors and belt. Let me have the belt, weapons and warriors. He was praying. And Arjun said, Krishna, I am highly grateful to you. Even if you don't have a belt with you, weapons with you, warriors with you, I want you, you and you alone. Duryodhana is exultantly happy. Krishna, I am very lucky. That fool idiot Arjun has asked Nirayana Mahadisi Krishna to be his guide, to be his support. I will have all your weapons, warriors, and belt. Prabhasu Krishna said. <coughs> Duryodhana went to Hastinapur. Straight he went to Bhishma, fell at his feet. Tata, tata, what a fool that Arjun is. What is the use of a useless person, Krishna, without weapons, on the battlefield? Arjun has chosen him. What did you choose, Bhishma? I brought the weapons. I brought the wealth. I brought the entire wealth of Krishna. Bhishma smiled and said, You fool, you brought the leaves. You brought the branches. You brought the ashes. Arjuna is wiser. He has taken the roots. He has taken the God. He has taken the grace. Ishwaran Graha Deva Kumsam Advaita Vasana The highest of non-dual philosophy. 
अद्वैत कॉन्सेप्ट अद्वैतानुभूति अद्वैत आनंद अद्भुत अनुभूति कैन बी एंजॉयड बाय अ पर्सन हु हैज डिवाइन ग्रेस शावर्ड ऑन हिम फुल दैट दुर्योधना वाज ही डिड नॉट अंडरस्टैंड ए मैन ए मैटेरियलिस्टिक मैन asks for the bodily comforts a devotee asks god himself when a narayana comes when a yoga narayana comes a lakshmi comes if you keep the lakshmi in your iron safe you have to lock her every time you open the door of the iron safe she will run away to her husband you have to be very careful if you keep yoga narayana you lakshmi will be with you if you keep shiva with you parvati will be with you ganapati will be with you kumara will be with you everything will be with you divinity and divine grace this wonderful episode highlighting the divine grace unless the atman chooses unless the divine grace shavas unless god is in our favor nothing will happen This is a sentence from the Vedic wisdom. When it is Upanishad, Sar Brahma Sutra, Sar Bhagavad Gita, in the entire life of every individual, one has to realize: if God is for us, nobody can harm us. If His God is not for us, nobody can save us. God's grace is the highest, and that we do not know where it comes. How it shows, how it comes to save us in the Mahabharata. A beautiful episode to highlight the entire philosophy, the entire bhakti, the entire Sharanagat Tattva, the entire Bhagavad Grace. Rajasuyaga was being performed by Dharmaraj, and many guests were invited, thousands and thousands of them. The yajna came to a close. The function came to a close. The wedding came to a close. The performance has come to a close. And now it is the duty of the host to thank the guests. When they come, they bring gifts, devotion. When the guests go, the host gives them something. Gratefully, thankfully, he gives some gifts. When you attend a marriage function, you marry something as a gift with love. When you return from the wedding, the host will give you something, a coconut, a kerchief, a sleeve. This is the ancient practice in any country. Now it is the turn of Dharma Raj to give gifts to the guests. Who is the first person to be given the greatest gift? Pratham Mariyana. The first grateful expression is to be showered on the chief guest. Who is that? Pandavas are five. Draupadi, their wife, they sat together. Draupadi is symbolic of mind. Five brothers are the symbolic of the five senses. Purify the senses, purify the mind. When they come together, when they discuss, there will be clarity. There will be the knowledge of truth. There will be the appearance of God. Senses must be pure. Shubha, Icha. Shubha, Antaryami Tattva, and that two have come together. Draupadi is not a woman; it is the mind of every individual. Five Pandavas are not five individuals. Every person has the five senses, and when they come together with purity, there is the intellect opening. They decided our chief guest is God Krishna. They wanted to know whether they are correct. They went to Bhishma, Pitamaha. We have decided to worship Krishna. Are we correct? Buddhi is represented by Bhishma, intellect, purified intellect, and Buddhi said, "You are right. Senses are pure. 
mind is pure, they have been able to identify chief guest Krishna as God and for clarification, for confirmation, they have gone to the Buddhi and that Buddhi is represented by Bhishma. Bhishma said, you are right. Now, Sri Krishna is invited, he is taken to the best chair, highest pedestal and Draupadi was pouring the water. Dharmaraj was about to wash the feet of Krishna to perform the chief guest's maryada, Pradhamma maryada. Then stood up Sisupala, Ahanta, why do you worship him? He is the senior most in age, he is the wisest person, he is he, a king, one after the other, he went on using vulgar words to scold Krishna. Bhima got angry. He wanted to kill Sisupala. Bhishma said, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Then Sisupala was scolding even Bhishma. Everybody was at cost, astounded. There was total dangerous silence in the hall. Everybody was mum. Krishna was smiling, counting. Dharmaraj was surprised, shocked, he went to Bhishma, what shall he do, sir, now? The whole function may be destroyed. We have agreed upon worshipping Krishna. This is Sisupala is objecting. Sisupala is the representative of egoism. Sri Krishna is the symbolic of Atma. Bhishma is the symbolic of Buddhi. Draupadi of mind. Pandavas are the five senses, all of them are in us. Atma is enshrined in us. Ahamsara is also present in us. Pandavas are like the five senses present in us. Draupadi, like the purified mind, is present in us. There is now a clash between ego and Atman. Unless the ego dies, Atman will not shine. Atman is eclipsed, scolded, found fault with by Ahamsara egoism. Story says, when Sisupala was born, he was born with the third eye like Lord Shiva. He was born with two more hands like Lord Narayana. Narayana, when he has four hands, they are beautiful, wonderful. Sankajakar Galapadma. When Lord Shiva had the third eye, with the holy eye, sacred eye, pure eye, divine eye, eye of the vision. This eye of Sisvala doesn't function. These two additional hands do not function. Then he was a boy, his mother placed him on the lap of everybody because Asiriravani told, when you place this baby on somebody's lap, the additional hands and the additional eye will disappear. Imitation. God, God's imitation. Shiva, Shiva's imitation. Narayana, Narayana's imitation. Krishna, Krishna's imitation. Sisubhara is not a new person. Sisvala's mother is Shashwati. Arjuna's mother is Kunti. Kunti and Shashwati are own sisters. Vasudeva is the father of Lord Krishna, their brother. Arjuna is Kunti's son. Sisvala is Shashwati's son. Both of them are sisters and they are the sisters of Vasudeva. That means Krishna. Sisupala, Arjuna are cousins. One cousin is a devotee, another cousin is an enemy. Sisupala is Ahankara with us. Before going to the examination hall, we make thousand prayers to God Balaji. Shiva, I must pass the examination. Venkateshwara, please give me success. Vigneshwara, please bless me with the, the victory. We make hundred prayers, break coconuts. After the examinations are over, when the results are published, when we are very exultantly happy with a party with the friends, I tell you, you know the previous day I did not care for the examination. I went into a theater also 
in spite of my negligence, in spite of my indifference, I was able to fast because of my intellect. You pray silently that you keep a secret. And we boast of our intelligence, we boast of our egoism. It is ahankara present in every one of us. And that ahankara egoism is to be removed. Now Dharmaraj in this place, he went to Bhishma what shall we do? Nothing can be done by us. Wait, wait, pray, pray. And that divine grace, Shabbat's do not go when, where, how. They were waiting. Sisubala was waxing in his scoldings. He went on abusing Sri Krishna and the ripeness. It reached its maximum. Krishna was counting because he made a promise to the mother of Sisubala that he would excuse. Sisupala for hundred mistakes. How many of us are not cursed with God? How many of us are not skeptic about the existence of God? How many of us are not abusing God? How many of us are not atheists? Still Krishna smiles. He excuses. Sisupala is the typical example of a person who is angry with the Atman, who is angry with God, who he does not recognize the existence of God. Now Sisupala reached his genit, his acme of vulgarity. Krishna counted for the benefit of everybody, to the surprise of everybody, and to shower grace on everybody, Krishna summoned that Sudarshana Chakra. Sudarshana is, Darshana is to reveal. Sudarshana is God's revelation. Sudarshana is self-revelation. Sudarshana is self-sakshatkara, atma-sakshatkara. When does atma-sakshatkara take place? When does God reveal himself? When does God's darshan we get? When egoism is removed. Who is to remove that egoism? He himself. Ishwaranam praha deva. Ni kondak nuver pinchuko avanangale avantar vanengi. It's by the grace we rise. It's by the grace we become devotees. It's by the divine grace that we are able to breathe in and breathe out. That peace spirit is highlighted by Patanjali in his Ashtanga Yoga, Ishwara Pranitha. Divine grace is the basis. Divine grace is the key word. Divine grace is the very soul of our human existence. Sakala Charachara Jagat is governed by the divine grace. He is the generator. He is the ordainer. He is the dissolver. He is the highest. May we all, having come to Prashanti, realize the key word Ishwara Pradhanana, Bhagavad Anukraha, Daiva Prema, and let us feel the shower of divine grace by meditating on that Yogeshwara Sri Krishna. Feel his presence. All through the body, Dharana, Nakha Sikha Paryantam, Room, Room, Mayor, 